Hey there, uh, this is Casey with Mountain Bluebird and Van Trip, and uh, just have a little bit of a, a change that I'm doing here in Mountain Bluebird. And, you know, I built the van and really had it finished and operational for probably about almost two years now. And I've been using it a lot, it's been great. And I've had something that hasn't really annoyed me, but I think I figured out a better way to do it. And it kind of came out of another project that I'm working on. So I'm just going to talk through it real quick here now. So down here, I know it's hard to see, but it says basically in front of my fridge. Uh, here's the fridge and the freezer. Uh, and I have this uh, this switch here. It's already powered off now, but this is my press, uh, water pressure pump. I also have my gray drain water valve here and a couple of spares that are in here. It's a nice waterproof switch. Um, and I have a night light down here embedded in this panel. Um, what I... I'm going to do though, I'm going to move the water pressure pump up to my main switch panel, which is up there, partially up right now. I'm going to move the gray water drain valve up to that panel right there where all the wires are coming out. That's my overhead panel. And that's really what led to this. I was redoing that panel for a couple different reasons. And one is um, I was adding a, um, a light switch for some lights I'd added into my canopy, those black round lights right up there. And I'm putting that switch up into this panel up here, adding it in there. And also I had my BMV in there, my battery monitor, um, but I moved it over to this other panel over here on this side. So it's next to my Victron color control because the color control does not have Bluetooth. And so you have to have it wired in and it was a pain to run wire all the way around, which I had done, but decided no, it's just better to have it all together over there. So anyways, I'm adding my, switch for these lights over here on top of the lights that are up over here in this dimmer I'm gonna have my my gray drain valve there the nice benefit of that is i can reach over my head while driving and if i'm in an appropriate spot i can flip that uh switch and actually open up my gray uh drain valve so whether i just pull over a, a sewer drain um great or whatever it is um the other benefit is by having water pressure pump up into that panel um, my main panel over here, which you can't really see very well now, so I'll show you later. Um, that I already have my my drain pump in there. I have all my main lights. I, I it just kind of it's right above this kitchen sink. It just seems to be the better appropriate space to put it. So I'm going to move it over there. So I'm taking out this panel, and um, this is kind of my main uh, termination um, call it electrical panel on this side. I've added in. Um, down here a terminal strip. Um, I've redone some of the wiring and that I have in here. Everything's labeled. Everything's heat shrunk. It's just a matter of making some changes. I know it looks crazy and complex, but believe it or not, it's all very organized and neat and everything has its own fuse. And this is just one of my many um, switch uh, electrical panels that I have in the van. Something I'd recommend um, you do is try to put at least an electrical panel slash center on each side of the van. And you can even do one front and rear or something like that. And this way you don't have to run a bunch of wires going back and forth from one side to the other or from front to back. So um, I've done these little call it power centers, um, you know, and this is one, this is my main one for this side where I have a lot of electrics in on this side, obviously, and they all move around on this side. So anyways, it's, it's a nice, clean, efficient way of doing it. Um, and so there you go. So I'll, I'll show a little more in a minute here. Um, once I uh, get it all wired up and changed out. Um, and also this panel here, um, I intentionally recessed it. So these switches are recessed, so they don't get bumped when you walk by, but I don't really like all this, uh, aluminum facing being totally exposed. So I'm just going to go right over it, uh, with my new panel, particularly since I'm not going to have any switches in there. I'm just going to keep my night light here. Uh, my night light, I have a night lighting circuit, just so you know, and I have night lights in a few different spots around the van. So I can flip that on, just have some little low level lighting, literally low to the ground and also low in light level in the luminosity of it. Um, so that just gives me a little bit of just low light, just to kind of see where you're walking, but not really have anything blinding in your eyes. Um, so, all right, a little tug tail the more in a minute. 